Good evening, King Show fans. Vic Gaiman here again from the King of TV Bowling. This week, we are at the game of Fairfield in Fairfield, Ohio. Uh, we're going to kick off the first week of their Wednesday night sweeper. And we got a action-packed final for you folks this week. We're going to have Jeremy Ciccone face off against Jay Pickett in tonight's final. And these two gentlemen are going to be duking it out uh, with a fresh format here at the game of Fairfield. Uh, this is going to be a two-game total pinfall final. Uh, both of these gentlemen are well over 220. Uh, however, this event is a handicap event. Uh, this is 90% of 220. So uh, anybody can compete and anybody can make it to the finals. Uh, but these two young gentlemen are going to be duking it out scratch. And we're going to get a look at Jay Pickett first. Uh, Jay was a winner at Gilmore Lanes. And he's been red hot of late. He's going to start things out for us on 13 and 14 today at the game of Fairfield. And his opening pitch is a good one, folks. That smooth arm swing of Jay Pickett takes 10 straight back. Put a little pressure on Jeremy Ciccone early in this final. Jeremy Ciccone out of Southgate, Kentucky. Been featured on pretty much every sweeper event we run in the Tri-State. And he made the first one at the game of Fairfield. And his opening pitch is a good one as well. As we see on the instant replay, these guys are not holding back. They're both going to be duking it out on a modified house pattern here at the game of Fairfield. Uh, Lonnie Billiter and the gang out here. Dennis Young. They got this place looking sharp, folks. Great shout out here for these competitors this week. As Jeremy's looking to make it a double here early on in this match. And he does. So Jeremy Ciccone was not phased by the early strike by Pickett. Throws a double at Jay. I'd like to thank everybody that stopped on out to uh, the game of Fairfield this week. As we stated, this is going to be going on every Wednesday night. Uh, start time at 6.30. $35 entry. And Jay Pickett gets a great break. Check this one out. Head pin twisting off the sideboard. Takes out the, <laughs> the two pin late. But he'll take it. Doesn't have to be pretty. Every ball is a picture ball, as Ed Hammond used to say. Jay looking to take full advantage of that here and start out with the first three. And his pitch. A bit wide of the mark here. Breaks up the, the dinner bucket there, leaving just the 2-4. Jay looking to cut things down and bring the spare back, and he does. So Jay keeping things clean in the first opening frames. Giving uh, Jeremy Ciccone a little bit of a window here. Take advantage of it. Well, folks, we'd like to thank uh, Dennis Young, or as Bird as he's known, at the game of Fairfield. Uh, they chipped in an extra $100 bonus to the uh, top of the prize fund this week. Give him a little added uh, bonus for this finale. As Jeremy makes another great pitch here, took advantage of that small window he's got. Gives him the first three. And he's looking to build on that here. But we appreciate the added prize fund to the event. Uh, this is going to be giving some folks something to shoot for uh, midweek. Jeremy makes another great shot. Unfortunately, he leaves the Smash 10 pin. 6 pin goes up and around the 10. Good pitch. He's going to look at bring this spare back. He's going to change to a harder surface friction ball. Cut things down. Ooh, and unfortunate for Jeremy. 
early on in this match, he flags the 10 pin, got a bit inside of his mark, and it sailed right by. So, throws it right back in Jay's lap here. Let's see what Jay does. Take advantage of that open frame here. And Jay got a little tight here, leaves a four pin. Fortunate enough not to have company with it. Nice safe pitch there. Gonna bring the spare back and chip away at that slight lead that Jeremy had for the open. And he does cover the spare. So Jay Pickett keeping things clean. After that spare conversion, that gives Jay 67 in the third with a spare up in the fourth. Strike here will put him in the lead in this match. Five step delivery, smooth arm swing, and nice shot there by Jay Pickett. Watch this one, folks. The parting of the Red Sea, as you can see on that instant replay. Just shredding that rack as Jay takes the lead now. Jeremy Sconey looking to bounce back from that. Uh, Miss 10 pin. Looking to regroup. Get back on the strike train. And Jeremy just uh, looks like he got a little bit soft and inside of his mark here. Fortunate enough to break up the baby split, leaving just the 3 pin. As he changes to the, the harder plastic spare ball here and he does bring that spare back so Jeremy currently has 87 in the fourth uh, when they spare up in the fifth looking to get back into this match and keep the pressure on Jay Pickett here step delivery a lot of hand in the ball folks just missed this one watch this blind scout goes right behind the 10 pin how much he could have done about that that was pretty much a blistered rack on that one tough break there by Jeremy Sacconi let's see if he can regroup here and recover this 10 pin And this time around, he converts. So great conversion there by Jeremy Sacconi. Jay Pickett looking to keep the pressure on here. Out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Jay getting a great break. Watch this one, folks, on the instant replay. Hitting them light, letting them fight. Watch that head pin come all the way back off the sideboard. There was nothing left as the five pin was going down late. Jay Pickett's got a key double here at this point. Looking to build on that. Get three in a row. Great shot there by Jay. No doubter here, folks. Ten goes straight back this time. Nothing left on the pin deck. Jay is uh, making a statement here in this final today. Let's see if Jeremy can bounce back and get back into this final. That's a great shot there by Jeremy Sacconi. Taking 10 back of his own right there. So that gives him 126 in the sixth frame with a strike up in the seventh. Uh, Jeremy looking to get a double here and climb back into this one. As we stated, folks, this is a two game total pinfall final. So Jeremy's got a little bit of paper left here. He's going to need a little bit of help out of Jay Pickett, though, at this point. Makes a great pitch here on lane 14. 
Watch this one against the replay. Six pins. Slapping out the ten pin this time. So gives him a key double. In the eighth frame. Jay Pickett on a nice run of his own at this point. Looking to build on that. And another great shot there by Jay Pickett. Jay is just absolutely stroking the ball today. As he takes 10 back there. That gives him four in a row. He's looking to make it five here. In the foundation ninth. We can take this one out in the 260s. Uh, Jeremy at this point, and he can end up in the 240s. So both of these guys throwing the ball real well in this final. And Jay gets a great break, folks. Watch this one. Six pin gets the love tap on the 10. And it's out of here. So Jay Pickett's got five in a row. All the way up to the foundation ninth. Jeremy Ciccone looking to finish strong here. As he is up in the ninth frame. Lane 13. Makes another great pitch, folks. Just unfortunate for Jeremy. He's just unable to carry the corner as he leaves another smash 10. So, a little bit of disappointment. As you can tell, Jeremy's going to try and bring the spare back. And he does. So, after that spare conversion, that gives Jeremy 175 in the 8th with a spare up in the ninth. Uh, his max potential at this point is 225 in this opening game of the final here at Game of Fairfield. Jay Pickett can still go out for 267. And Jeremy makes another great pitch. Unfortunate for him, he leaves another smash 10. These three pound, eight ounce pins are just getting. Blown away by the power of Jeremy Sacconi. Just not able to keep him low. As that six went up and around the ten. He changes to the spare ball and brings it back. Jeremy's been pounding the pocket. Uh, this whole first game of this final match. Just not getting the pin carry that he would normally would like to see as he makes a ball change here in the tenth frame. Going to the ripped. And he got a little bit better look here, folks. A little bit more circled pattern. Definitely got a great reaction there, and the pins responded. So Jeremy ends up with 214 in the first game. Jay Pickett can go out for 267 here. He's going to be in the lead by quite a few. It's just going to be a matter of how many. And Jay, a little turnabout fair play here in this final. He leaves a smash 10 of his own. Jay Pickett uh, with a spare Andy Phil. He is going to be in the 240s. He's going to have to cut things down here. He throws that little bit of a cutter here, that little backup ball. And he brings that 10 pin back. So it's going to be a 30 plus lead for Jay Pickett after this first match. Jay does here in his final ball in the 10th. Another good pitch there. Ooh, tough break there by Jay Pickett. These guys are not really getting the pin carry in this 10th frame of the first game. Well, Jay Pickett goes 244 to uh, Jeremy Sconey's 214 in this opening game. Jeremy's going to start things out for us in the second game of this total pinfall final. He's going to start out on lane 14. And he's going to start things out with the ripped that he finished up the first game with. And his opening pitch goes right through the heart, folks. 
unfortunate for Jeremy. He's just left the Greek church with the 4, 6, 7, 9, 10. Not what he's looking to leave when he's trying to climb back in it. See if he can convert. He went for it, and unfortunately he goes 7 out. So uh, he's got an early open in this second game of the two-game total pinfall final here. Jay Pickett's currently up 30. He's looking to build on that, start things out quick, jump on that early open. And Jay makes a great pitch, and that's exactly what he does. Folks, watch this one on the instant replay. Got a great break, tripping out that nine pin late. Head pin came off the sideboard to take it out. Jay looking to make it a double here. Take a commanding lead in this total pinfall final. Jay makes another great pitch, folks. Watch this one. High flush, 10 straight back. Jay's got himself a double. And the pressure is on. Jeremy Ciccone at this point. Sticking to that ripped. From lane 13. And that's a good shot there by Jeremy Sconey. Got the 10 pin out that time. He's going to need some help from Jay in this uh, final game to climb back into this uh, championship match. Jeremy can double here. Just another great shot by Jeremy Sconey. What are you going to do? Made a ball change, and he leaves yet another rip 10. Six pin went down and up around the 10 pin this time. Just not quite getting the angle of entry on the pocket. But Jeremy's... Uh, Convert to despair. Uh, he had the early open in the first frame. And he goes strike spare in the second and third. Jay Pickett on a double here. Looking to make it three in a row. And he goes a little wide of the mark. Ball just not quite finishing. Got himself a little bit of an off spot pin carry there as he leaves the 4-7. Pin setter was able to get it. And he's going to have a relatively easy spare attempt here. Separation shouldn't be too much of a problem for Jay. Hooks right into it, and he converts. It's a good cover there by Jay Pickett. After that spare conversion, it gives him 28 in the first. Uh, with a spare up in the third, he has 48 in the second. So, plus his 30 sticks from the first game, he is in full control of this final. Jay makes another great shot on lane 14. 10 in the pit, every pin doing its job. Jay Pickett's got himself a strike. That gives him 68 in the third with a strike up in the fourth. Well, it's go time for Jeremy Sconey. He's going to have to mark and keep pace and hope for a break. And unfortunately, he goes wide of the mark here. Ball just not quite getting up the hill as he leaves the 2 5. He's definitely going to need some help by Jay Pickett here to climb back into this final. Does convert to spare. Just trying to change things up to get a little different angle to the pocket. As he's been blistering the rack uh, pretty much the entire night.
There we go. Good shot there by Jeremy Sconey. He got it out that time, folks. Six pins slapping out the ten. So after that strike, that gives Jeremy 65 in the fourth with a strike up in the fifth. Uh, Jay Pickett looking to keep the pressure on here and keep control of this final. And he does. He makes another great pitch on lane 13. Taking 10 straight back yet again. As we stated, folks, uh, this Wednesday night sweeper will be continuing, hopefully, throughout the winter. Um, this will be every Wednesday night at the game of Fairfield in Fairfield, Ohio. $35 entry fee starts at 630 as Jay makes a decent pitch on lane 14. Unfortunately, it creeps high. It goes uh, 479. So, uh, a little bit of a window here for Jeremy Ciccone if uh, Jay's not able to convert. And that's kind of what he was looking for at this point. Some kind of break as Jay's been really stroking the ball well. Jay throwing that cutter at it, giving it a run. But he goes nine out. And uh, at this point, Jeremy looking to get back on here. And climb back into this final. And unfortunate for Jeremy, he goes a touch high. He goes through the nose. Unable to break it up this time as he leaves the baby split. Uh, he leaves the 310. So he changes to the hard plastic ball. Cut down the hook and he converts the split. So uh, good cover there by Jeremy Sacconi. As we stated, folks, this will be continuing every Wednesday at 630. Uh, you can contact Lonnie Builder out here or Dennis Young at the Game of Fairfield. Or Missy Bonnert, and they get you information and directions on how to get here. But Jeremy Sconey figures it out here and makes another great pitch. Got the 10 to fall this time in the seventh frame, giving him 105 in the sixth with a, with a strike up in the seventh. Jay Pickett, uh, even with the split, he's in full control at this point. He is up 50 plus in this final. And he makes a good pitch here on lane 13. As he goes flush in the 1 3. Jeremy's going to need a couple more breaks out of Jay Pickett here to. Uh, get back into this final, but Jay's got other ideas. He's looking to put this thing on lock. And he gets a great break. One step closer, folks. Watch this one on the instant replay. The light mixer. The 5-7 go out late. Jay's got himself a double. And he's one step closer to the Wednesday Night Sweeper Championship here. Jeremy makes a decent pitch. Goes a little bit high. Scout almost got it as he leaves the four pin. Pin dancing around there. Almost got the four to trip out. Jeremy brings the spare back. It might be a little too late here for Jeremy Sacconi. Just not able to figure out the corner carry in this final. He's going to keep plugging away and hope for the best. He makes a good pitch there. He figured something out on the right-hand lane. So he takes 10 straight back. That ball is diving in off the outside in the ninth frame. His max potential for this game is going to be 205. Jay Pickett already going at a 220 clip for this final game of this uh, two frame, two game total pinfall. Excuse me. J 
Jay gets another great break. He goes high flush on this one, folks. Just his night tonight. He's got the pins falling. Looking to build a knee. Foundation, and he does. So great shot there by Jay Pickett. Another string again, and uh, gonna walk away with a victory today at the game of Fairfield. That one pretty much put this one on ice. There's no way Jeremy's gonna be able to battle back in the tenth frame to recover the pins that are he's already down. So Jay Pickett leaving a four pin here. Kind of going through the motions at this point. This one's pretty much over. Well, great run today by Jay Pickett as he ends up with 231 in the final game of this two-game total pinfall. He's going to be your winner today at the game of Fairfield as Jeremy's finishing up. So he goes fast eight in lane 13. He's kind of going through the motions here, getting something in the log books. For our final, as he converts to spare, just a total case of who was able to carry here today at Fairfield. As Jeremy goes with the patented through the legs, crosses over, goes Brooklyn, and maybe had a little something there. <laughs> he should have went too early on. But great run today by Jeremy Sconey. He's definitely going to be back. He participates in a lot of events in the tri-state area. So, great round today by Jeremy. But your winner today at the game of Fairfield is going to be Jay Pickett as he wins 475 to Jeremy Sacconi's 399. From everyone here at King of TV Bowling, we just want to say thank you folks for viewing. Uh, please be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all our current content. We'll see you next time. This King of TV Bowling production has been brought to you by White Oak Auto Care, family owned and operated for over 30 years. Give them a call today, 513-741. 1300 for all your automotive needs. And by the Bowler's Edge Pro Shop. Balls, bags, shoes, and so much more. Check out the Bowler's Edge Pro Shop at Gilmore Lanes. Folks, you can check out all this great action on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to log on to kingoftvbowling.com for more information. We'll see you next time on the lanes. Take care.